Morning boys and girls. Just out here with the EMTB down at uh, Cleveland National Park. Absolute stunning morning. It's a little bit of warmth in the air. Uh, the sun's got a bit of sting and it's going to get to 33 today. It is about 24, 25 at the moment up here. I'm hoping it's going to be a little cooler down there inside the uh, woody forest areas. But should be nice. Going to go and do this bullock track, Women's Pioneer Trail, down through Burnside, up to Mount Lofty, and then back around. So yeah, should be fun. Hey, right. So someone's just told me that the uh, track's closed ahead due to hazardous conditions, so mountain biking is all about hazard and risk management. So, the trail is closed due to hazardous conditions. I mean, I would have thought that the whole thing was a hazardous, hazardous condition. But anyway, that just means we'll have to uh, go up that track there behind me. Yeah, some steep climbs coming up. So this is something different anyway. I actually haven't come up this way so uh, it's always good to try something different looks like it's getting steep I might have to put two hands on the bars well, well remember how I showed you 75 or 85 k's range we're down to 29 just had to use the MTB to get up all that so we're now on the uh, gun blower track there we go how epic is this view mate hey Magnificent. So we were right down in there on the Chambers Gully hike, came across that sign saying it was closed. So uh, I've made my way up to the gun blower track and I'm pretty sure this should take me around to where I need to go. So we're up pretty high again. See the city through there. Magnificent. Anyway, my range should climb back up. Still on 78%. But uh, yeah, that little closure put a spanner in the works, mate. A little bit more climbing than I wanted. Well, just going to use this opportunity to take a bit of a rest. Wipe the sweat from my eyes. Tell you what, mate, it's warming up. That sun has got some kick in it. Um, but yeah, these, these ruins. I don't think I've actually stopped and looked at these before, so I uh, thought I'd check them out. Cool. There you go, mate. Shit, you find out the trail, eh? Like this scenery here, mate, this is what I've come for. Just love riding through here. It's so cool at the moment. Nice and shady. Absolutely beautiful. Want to put your balancing skills to the test? Danny McCaskill could probably ride across that.
the fellas on their analog bikes having a crack up lodge track. Nice work. So that's it here, intersection of wine shanty. And uh, I'm about to put the e power to the test, mate. So look at this. Got ourselves a little bit of a thorn in here. I rode up lodge track. Oh, Jesus, on fuck all PSI. But luckily, I've got that Tannis armor in there, so that was pretty good. And it was actually pretty good for the grip, to be honest. Because, uh, yeah, she's pretty, pretty rocky and loose. Although you can't see it from here. But uh, how, how's the views up here, mate? Magnificent. Anyway, analog boys have continued up there. I'm going to repair this tyre. And luckily for me, I've still got some darts. So I've got the uh, stands repair tool with the darts, with some spare darts, and I've got my little pump. So let's pull this out. I wanted to get the pliers, maybe. Yeah, she's a pretty big thorn, probably from one of those blackberries or something. Motherfuckers. Right, eh? Got the trusty El Cheapo pliers. Let's get this bloody thorn out, eh? Jesus, have a look at that shit. It's more of a bloody twig, if anything. Have a look at it. That's a bit of a. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Anyway, let's plug this bastard up. Have a look at it. Right, so the, the dart repair tool broke. It's got like a little carbon fiber pin thing snapped off on here. So now I've got it on the end of here. Let's see if I can get the prick in. Okay, so I finally managed to push some of the uh, dart material in. I'm not real happy about it. I went through bloody three of my little white pins, you know, the little pins on the end of the darts. I think these 60 TPI um, tires, the sidewalls, are just a bit too heavy for the dart to work properly. Basically just the darts just pushed in and the and the uh, the material didn't even push through. So I've managed to try and you know push it into the hole, probably made the hole bigger. Some sealant's starting to come out the side there. I've put i put some air in. Um, I might have to just start heading back to the car because if this thing just keeps running flat, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. But um yeah, I've done what 18 k 17 and a half k so yeah, I'm at basically Cleland uh, Wildlife Park, pretty close to it. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I think I'll just uh, try and find my way back. Luckily, I've got the tennis armour inside here, so you know it will roll on the rim, providing I don't go slamming on some downhill gnarly rocky stuff. So uh, yeah, mate, talk about a sweaty situation, but you know it's all part of the adventure, mate. Right, so I've got the uh, the little plug uh, in the tyre, sort of sitting at the bottom sort of tilted to the side to get some of that stand sealant to sort of work its way through and hopefully seal up. I don't know how far I sort of managed to push it into the uh, to the hole, but I'll probably put in about 30 PSI or maybe less. Um, and it hasn't pushed its way out, but I'm just going to take the most direct route, which means going down Chinaman's hut track, which is uh, in some sections fairly gnarly uh, and downhill. So um, yeah, um, good thing I've got the... Uh, the uh, protection in the rim so it's not too bad it's the um the tannis armor um but it's kind of a pain in the ass because if i want to put a tube in now which i do have a spare tube for um i've got to take the armor out which means i've got to have a slimy sticky bloody ring of red armor around my bloody waist or over my neck or something hanging over my shoulder uh for the ride home um which i don't fancy doing hopefully i can get back to the car it's about uh 16 minutes away they reckon by bike on this trail according to google maps um and um yeah then i'll take the, the tire off and uh, clean it all up patch it up on the inside it's kind of like just on the edge of the where the sidewall meets the tread uh, so there's a couple of tall sort of knobs um in between or either side of this uh this repair i've done so hopefully it won't get dislodged but you know these tracks are all rocky and loose and shit so yeah, um, <laughs> so here we go. I, I was planning on going up to uh, the top of the stoop to Mount Lofty and having a coffee up there and whatnot, but yeah, I'm just going to go back to the car because I don't fancy having to stop and air up the tyre every time it goes flat. So hopefully I can get up this steep bit, then just mostly downhill and then a couple of little pinches all the way back to the car. 
and uh, yeah, see how we go. Well, it's still in there, still doing not a bad job. I've made it down to the Tower of Power, so she's pretty gnarly on the way down. Um, I'm just braking and trying to go a little slower. I don't want to bang the wheels too hard, if you know what I mean, and try and dislodge this thing. So it's got to get me back to the car. There's still a few climbs to go yet. It's a little bit of uh, climbing once I get to the bottom of this one here. So uh, anyway, so far so good. Well, coming down Chinaman's, trying to use more front brake and keeping the weight over the front because I'm trying not to dislodge that bloody plug that I stuck in. Um, you get to know your front brakes and how much you can put on before your front wheel starts to lock up. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, just down here at the corner of Caro and Chinaman's. Uh, and I think I've got it to turn right now. Uh, getting closer. Don't know if you can see, but there is like thousands of butterflies here. So last time I was down here anyway, I think it was winter time. There was loads of water crossings. Well, loads of water in the crossings. Only about two or three maybe. The sand is a little bit more uh, loose at the moment, drier. But uh, yeah, still a nice place to be. So a nice little bit of smooth section on the side here. What I might do is uh, at the top up here, gets pretty close to the road, the old Mount Barker freeway. Um, I might just get on that because I really need to keep the air in a tyre with the uh, bike rack so I don't want to dislodge that bloody plug if I can help it so this is where the Pirellis just don't have the grip it's just too dry and loose um, and it's also about, about your line choice but um, yeah I sort of crossed over some of the real loose bit the back wheel started spinning as soon as you lose momentum mate, well it's hike a bike up to the top, which luckily ain't too far and I'm just going to chuck a left here and go back up onto the road, back to the car. Well there it is boys and girls, cut short by that puncture, just too worried about losing that bloody plug and then having to just keep re-inflating my tyre and I need that plug to keep the air in the tyre for my bike rack, otherwise it's just going to bounce around everywhere. Uh, so yeah, back at the car now which is still there, that's, that's a bonus. And, uh, that's the adventure for today. What's the time? 11.30, so uh, two and a half hours. And only, only 23 k's. Oh, well, there you go, 22 k's. Yeah, 23 with 22 in range in turbo. There you go. Anyway, she's bloody warming up now, so uh, probably not a bad time to quit, I reckon. See you on the next one. Yo. Righto, so here are the little dart heads that uh, went through the tire, but didn't pull these little rubbery things through. So these are the plugs that's supposed to react with the sealant and seal up the tire. And uh, also, one of the little pins, which is one of these here, snapped off. So you're lucky you get two, you get one on each end of this. Um, but anyway, I managed to uh, push one of these through just using the pin here and uh, it's sealed up um, it may have been all right to continue using but uh, I'm gonna play it safe and put a patch behind it so if we have a look here there's the hole there so it's a reasonable kind of puncture so yeah, I'll patch that up and uh, should be good as gold, but um, and I really needed to use uh, a plug. I reckon maybe the, the sealant might have just done its job, but there you go, you live and learn. So I've loaded these three back up. Hopefully they're salvageable for proper punctures that need them. And I'll just keep that bit there because that one there is bloody broken. So still got a pin left. So yeah. Still got something to use. So we got the little bit of uh, tyre sidewall. Actually from a previous tyre of exactly the same brand and model. So yeah, that's going to be a little better than uh, one of those flimsy rubber patches that sometimes starts to bulge their way out through the hole. So uh, yeah, I like to use this when I can.